So having painted our house, we need to show it off. So I do have an assignment here for turning in images of the painted house. I'm going to copy the name of this first one. You'll see that there's a minimum of two, and that is an overall view and a detail view. So I'm adding the PNG in here just to really distinguish it as just an image downloaded from SketchUp instead of being the model itself. And then if we get to render them with dimension, adding those in as well is going to make a big difference. We're shooting for 1920 by 1080, so there's enough detail there to really see. So let's go to SketchUp. And if we look at our scenes here, you can, you can see that we've got lots of different views that we could show this house, but I want to show off the most work possible. So let's go and look at those scenes. You see that under standard views here, there are a number of standard views. I think this isometric view is the best. Sometimes if you click on that, it may show you um, this angle, but you want to see how it just shows that. Just orbit around until you get this. Now I'm going to position it as best I can before I go to download. Although, as you know, you can tweak it a little bit when you get there. In fact, let's do that now. So I'm going to download, not the model this time, it's a picture. And I'm going to make sure that this is 1920. And you'll notice that by default, it's not 1080 here. So if we want true Blu-ray resolution, then typing in 1920 by 1080, it's kind of a standard size here. If everybody does that, and I make a video with all the pictures in them to show them off, everybody's would be the same size. Now I'm going to just orbit and notice my margins above and below are pretty much the same and left and right. So you want to kind of center it there. What I hate seeing is like something like this. We're not really seeing the house. It's not centered. So just put your mouse in the middle of the house and scroll in and you can get as close as you like right about there. Okay. So you can take any of these angles. Let's turn off the background and notice there is no access. It's just the house and SketchUp for schools here. Nice clean image. I'm going to export that as the PNG 1920 by 1080. It went to the downloads folder so I can quickly get there by just clicking on that folder and I'm going to rename this file and put my name on there. So that's my first one. The second one, I want to show off the window. We put a lot of effort into making this four pane window with an inner and outer frame. So make sure that these are painted differently and some contrast in there so you can really see all the hard work that went into that. If you have additional details that are on the front, um, include those as well. If you don't have a doorknob or anything, just a nice view of the window from a three quarter view like this not straight on, but uh, to really see that, this would be a pretty good position right here for it. So let's download that again. Um, looking at the assignment, you'll notice that we've added the word detail in here. So I'll copy this one. Again, changing this to 1080. It's going to alter that a little bit. So you probably have to orbit, pan, zoom a little bit to get that detailed view again. And then turning off the background is going to just give us a nice PNG. PNGs have that transparency. Might as well use it. So having downloaded that image now, I'm going to rename it. So those are the two that you would upload. Remember, these should not be left in the downloads folder. These are now part of your collection of your 3D model. Okay. So under 3D modeling project folder, adding a folder that just says images would be a pretty good idea to just do that. Okay. So I'm going to drag those over here into images. Um, I've already got a couple in there, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the files in that destination with these better ones. 
I'll add a second video on how to quickly do that with Dimension. I will note that I actually went to Firefly and asked for a seamless brick texture, and I was able to download and use that in my house. So that's where that set of bricks came from. They were generated in Firefly. So on your portfolio, that's something that you would definitely need to include so that uh, people will know you're using AI to help make your house look totally different from everyone else's.